Hey there everyone, this is Kat, aka Stitching Out Loud, uh, here on YouTube and Instagram, and I can also be found on Ravelry. Um, I, this is not going to be a succulent update or unboxing, this is going to be a coffee mug uh, unboxing. I ended up ordering a couple of coffee mugs, they both came in the same day, and I actually won a contest or a drawing on um, a Facebook group that I'm in uh, for coffee lovers and coffee mug collectors, um, AKA Mug Life. So um, a very nice girl by the name of Willow, I cannot remember her last name, I'm sorry. I'm doing this on the fly um, just because um, it, it might rain, so I'm trying to hurry up and get this done. Um, so I didn't look anything up, but um, she did a drawing, and I won a... She actually is making her own coffee now, roasting her own coffee. So I won a bag of coffee, and this is her label. Espresso Coffees. Max Levo. Max Level. Expressocoffees.com. Um, I have not opened it yet, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna try and uh, make some coffee tonight. And so excited about this, she included with everybody that won, she included this awesome coffee mug. Look how big it is. It's I love it. It's like the perfect size. I don't know if it says it doesn't say what how many ounces, but the most awesome thing ever has got my name on it how cool is that that is like totally epic so willow of espresso coffees this is friggin awesome i love it and i hope you don't mind that i'm doing a video of this so and hopefully uh people will come over and check out your coffees and um if you want if you got if you guys want i will do a, a tasting uh, roasting and tasting. I do everything on a V60 for people who know about coffee. I do everything on a V60 uh, Hario um, and and I hand grind my coffee before uh, before brewing. Um, I've learned my lesson. I've I don't want to say I've become a coffee snob. Some people will say that I've become a coffee snob, but I mean I have my preferences and I've learned through the years. Um, that, yeah that's just the way I like my coffee I love hand grinding before right before brewing and I love the pour over process I just love watching uh, the bloom I love watching it pour because of the the um, the v60 I have is actually just plastic but it's clear like it's a crystal clear plastic and you can see right through and you can see the drip of the coffee going down into the mug and I love that so anyways um, the other, I placed a, an order, there was a, if anybody knows anything about Deneen, Deneen coffee mugs, um, they are like the ultimate makers of coffee mugs at this time. Um, there's a lot of companies that are going to them to have coffee mugs made specifically with their logo and just... I can't even, I can't, honestly, I can't even tell you, according to their website, 24 hands touch each coffee mug um, before it's sent out to, to, to the customer, so, or in the process of the making, I should say. Um, they're just fantastic. Um, they do a great job with the logos. They do an awesome job with, with the glazes. They're, they're just fantastic. Um, and... If anybody out there is looking to have a coffee mug made with their company logo or whatever on it, I would say they are the company to go to. Um, every everybody just loves everything that they make. Um, so, anyways, um, they put out just recently, uh, just a couple of days ago, as a matter of fact, they did a release of an Illustrator mug, and it's it's a beautiful mug. Um, they hired an illustrator to uh, design 
um, the logo that was going to go on the mug, or they call it a medallion. And it's a cat flying in space. He's wearing an astronaut spacesuit, and uh, there's a slice of pepperoni pizza flying in, in space, and the cat's trying to get it. And it's just so cute. Um, at first, I thought I didn't want one, but when it came, came down to the day, I tried to, I really, really tried to get one. Um, I was actually trying to snatch a couple of them um, just to be able to, um, if somebody missed it, I can, you know, forward it to them. But it was just, the website was just crazy. You, I could not even, I couldn't even get anywheres on it. Um, I, I had a couple of mugs in my, in, in my basket or in my cart and I tried to go and pay for it and I got an error. So I went back to the website and the bad thing is on their homepage they don't have a, a cart icon. It's where you could just click the cart and try again. You have to actually go in and add something to your cart and when you add something to your cart a button pops up on the next page with a view cart button but then you would have to go back in and take out that other item that you didn't want so that elongates the process and I think it also probably confuses the computer system about that because you're adding something and you're having to take something out and then you're having to try it again and by that time you know you're getting another error so you have to do the whole process all over again it was just crazy that day so needless to say I did not get a mug um, but so I went and <laughs> There's a, a uh, there's a lot of people on Etsy that that are potters, and they make their own mugs, um, and they sell them. So I have been eyeballing a specific coffee mug. So when I didn't get the cat in space um, coffee mug that I wanted, sorry about that. There's a there's a giant bug crawling around on the table and I was trying to kill it. There's a, um, a mug that I was eyeballing for a while and so I went over and bought it to console myself for not being able to get the the Cat in Space pizza mug. So um, this is a this is the lady I bought it from, uh, Linda Renee Pottery. You can see Linda Renee Pottery at .etsy.com um, and I haven't the picture I saw, that's all I've seen, is the picture. So here's the unboxing. She, she looks like she uh, packed it pretty nicely. It's a huge box for, a, for just one mug. Um, let me try and... Oh, here we go. Okay, I don't know what this is. Oh, look, she gave me a little... I don't know, I don't know what. A little freebie. How cool is that? I don't know what that is, but it looks like a little tiny uh, condiment bowl or something. So let's see what... She, here's the... She wrapped it really nicely. That's a ton of bubble wrap in that. People, if you are um, into pottery and you're shipping stuff out, that's the main thing, especially with USPS. They are terrible for ending up smashing boxes and breaking mugs. So if you're going to send out a mug, please, please wrap it with tons of bubble wrap, uh, tons of paper or whatever. Because when you, you don't want your customer to end up with a broken mug and then you have to go through the process of trying to uh, go through the insurance. And from what I understand, USPS or the, uh, our own post office is not good about, um, they're not good about uh, coming forward paying for that in paying you know paying out on that insurance so at least from what I hear I don't know I haven't had to deal with them um, on, on that kind of issue but well she definitely wrapped it up really good let me try and show this up my battery was low what before I started this so I'm hoping that this it doesn't die my I hope my phone doesn't die on me whoa Seriously, you guys, okay. Oh, here's her card. I'll just show this to you right quick. Linda Renee Pottery. 
there's her telephone number and her email address, I mean her, her website addresses and whatnot. The cute little card. I love that. But look at this. Oh my god, you guys. I don't even know if you guys can see this. Look at I love these drip mugs. There's somebody out there that does drip mugs. Um I I can't remember the name of her. I can't remember her name, but um she's really expensive uh, in my eyes so I you know I'm just happy I'm happy with this look at this this was not expensive at all well I, I say not expensive but just look at that oh look at those colors <laughs> seriously you guys I really think this is probably my favorite coffee mug so far that I've ever bought Look at those colors. I wish you guys can, I, I see a lot of reflection looking at this, but I don't know that you guys can even see down inside there. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my God. Look at that, oh. How beautiful. I love this. I absolutely love it. This is fantastic. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I hope you guys didn't, don't get sick watching this. But, wow. I really, I'm really happy I bought this mug. I love this right here. I don't know. This this little drip right here of the blue. Just, it looks like a, like a raindrop. That is, that is so awesome. Okay, I'm going to stop you guys, but, um, yeah, uh, in case you're wondering, in, just in case you're wondering, this mug was $30, and of course shipping was extra, I think it was right around $12, so, not bad, not bad for, you have to really think about and learn to appreciate what it goes into making a hand-thrown coffee mug. Um, if you ever watch any videos and the time that it takes because they have to let the uh, the clay dry which takes days or weeks I don't know um, and then the glazing uh, to, to fire it the I mean it's just the process is, is for 30 bucks to me this is well well worth the 30 bucks so i'm i'm very happy okay the other oh let me do the little freebie that she sent right quick this is awesome you know i love it when i love it when when people do stuff like this you know it's it's not even on on their website like hey you get a free you get a small freebie with every purchase that you make or or anything like that it's just oh my god you guys this is oh my god this is so fantastic I just love this I I think this is probably I think this will probably be considered a ring bowl but it's just a little bowl that you put on your counter, uh, you know, like by the sink or whatever. So when you take off your, for women or men, if, if men do it, when you take off your rings, you could throw, you could toss it in the little bowl so that, um, you know, you don't, you don't have, you're not washing dishes and scratching up your, your, um, your dishes with your ring or whatever. So anyway, but look at this. Look at that, you guys. Look at that crackle, gla crackle glass on the bottom. Oh my gosh. This is so fast. I don't even know if it's coming through to you guys or not. But this is so awesome. I love this crackle glass stuff. I really, really do. It is just so fantastic. And I love this little bowl. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And it's so it's smooth. You can't even you can't feel the cracks in it. So you just use it for whatever. I mean that is so. I wish. 
honestly I wish the whole this whole thing was just made of the cracked glass that is just so awesome that is so cool that is just so cool Linda Renee this is just that is top that is top notch right there thank you so much for that little freebie I am so happy with my mug and my little freebie that is just so awesome oh I'm sorry you guys I just realized that guy was mowing the lawn I hope that wasn't too loud okay um okay and the other the other mug that I got I know exactly what this is um if anybody uh, is into fantasy fantasy novels um there's a fantastic author by the name of Patrick Rothfuss he I just love him he you know he is so kind-hearted he's got a big huge heart he's just a big burly big burly guy and he's just a bear and not that kind of bear you guys um but he's just one of those guys that you know if you ever meet you just want to hug him and and just you know be the best of friends with him he just seems like such a great guy um as I've watched his videos on his channel and um, on his website, um, he's he's very much into world. He has a a, a a charity going called World Builders, and he's been doing this for quite a few years. Um, and it, it's in combination with Heifer International to bring um, farm animals to impoverished countries so that they, they could kind of get a start on living a normal life with you know a cow or a goat or a sheep and you know these are animals that produce milk and wool and different things that they could use to start their own trade business or, or whatever you know so he does a lot of work with that um but he also wrote I, I learned about him initially because he wrote an awesome well he's in the process of still writing the last book um, the King Killer Chronicles, um, and the first book is called The Name of the Wind. The second book is oh, no, I'm I can't even remember now. Jeez. Okay, so we'll just forget about I mentioned the second book. How's that? Anyways, he's still working on his third book. Um, it's been a really long time, and Patrick, I, I doubt that he would ever see this, but. I really hope you finish it soon. I am so dying to find out what happens. Anyway, so in the book there's a very popular um, tavern called the Aeolian. And if anybody knows about the books, it's it's awesome. You know, it's the whole story behind that is just fantastic. Um, so anyways, um, he, he sells it. He goes, Patrick Rothfuss has this. I will show you this just so that you can yeah part of his uh, blog and website is a little store called the tinkers pack the tinkers packs and here's the tinkers packs.com you can see that there um, so all the stuff that's sold on you know, on this website um, part of part of the proceeds go to his world builders um, goes to world builders so that's that's good that's really great um so anyways they had a mug made with and look at this i gotta show this to you guys okay for those of you guys who who are coffee mug collectors okay so this this is a box inside of a box packed with a ton of peanuts around it i pulled it out but it was it was stuff down there and down in there really snugly so um yeah that was awesome so an, a box inside of a box inside of a box that's fantastic anyways um so here we go i have not looked at this i only saw one picture on the website um and it was honestly the picture was kind of dark but i didn't care because a mug from the aeolian if you guys are a fan of the books, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is just I want to get my musician's pipes one of these days, maybe. Who knows? Holy crap, you guys! This this mug is is heavy. Wow, look at that. 
Oh, wow. Oh my God, look at that. Now this is just a simple coffee brown color. It's a little bit of a cream color top glaze right there on, on the, around the rim. But look. Oh my God. Okay, sorry you guys. <laughs> I thought my phone died. Okay, so anyways, let me try and do this really quick. That is a fantastic medallion right there. Look at that. Very clean. Very nice. And this one, this one is not Deneen. This is actually Sunset Hill. So they also in the same... I don't know if they have the whole thing with the 24 people touching each mug or whatever, but um, yeah, it's beautiful. No, it's look how big this is. I I want to say this is probably tw I think it's 20 ounces, which is really a really good size for a beer or a soda. But the only thing I'm gonna be drinking drinking out of this is uh, coffee, so. I don't know, sometimes I do drink water or something out of them, but um, for the most part, it's just, it's always coffee. But, fantastic mug. Go check out um, the tinkerspacks.com and order your mug. They also have, I, I bought, there's another one on there. If you guys, again, if you're a fantasy fan and you read anything by Kevin Hearn and his, jeez, uh, I can't remember the name of the, uh, the series um i can't remember the name here. It's, it's, i'm sorry guys um but kevin hearn has a series of books and in the books uh the main character uh runs a um i believe it's like an apothecary if i remember right um because he's a druid so he runs like sort of an apothe apothecary called the third eye um and they have a mug like that. I mean, not like this one. It's a little bit smaller. But um, the Third Eye coffee mug as well. So if you're into that, you can go and grab one of those. As well as the Aeolian. Um, so that's about it for today, you guys. Um, my phone is about to die on me. And for those of you who are um, coffee lovers and watching this for the unboxing of the coffee mugs... I also am into succulents, that's why you see all these plants here on my table. Um, so if you're into succulents or any kind of, my desert rose, I hope it blooms. But um, anyways, um, I do unboxings of succulents as well. So anyways, um, that's all I have for today. Um, I'm going to end it here before my phone just totally completely quits on me. Um, and. I hope you guys have a good day and I will talk to you later.